Hello, my name is Mark Willis and I'm the pastor for Merriam Christian Church. We're bringing you this prayerful meditation in the midst of your week that it might be just a short stop, a brief oasis in the midst of whatever journey you find yourself on right now, that you might be able to take a few minutes and just pause, dwell in God's word for a moment, and then take that word with you throughout the rest of your day and week. Let's prepare to hear the Word of God today. Let's get into a comfortable position, if that's sitting in a chair, if that's maybe laying down. And let's just try to relax for a moment. Try to, try to set down everything else that you've been dealing with today. Let's just focus on God's Word. Let's take some nice, slow breaths. Some nice long deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth as you do try to feel your body relaxing a little bit Maybe adjust in your chair or if you're lying down as you need to, to get comfortable. Feel some of the tension coming off your shoulders, maybe out of your neck. And as you continue to take those nice, long, slow, deep breaths in and out, Hear now the word of God for your day from the 79th Psalm. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Pour out your anger on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember against us the iniquities of our ancestors. Let your compassion come speedily to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Let the avenging of the outpoured blood of your servants be, among, be known among the nations before our eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. According to your great power, preserve those doomed to die. Return sevenfold into the bosom of our neighbors, the taunts with which they taunted you, O Lord. Then we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Just keep taking some of those nice, slow, deep breaths. And as you do, just join me in a word of prayer. Most gracious God, bless us today and forgive us for our failings. We have done many things wrong this day, this week, this month, this year. But Lord, your forgiveness is forever. Your righteousness is eternal. Wipe away our sins and restore us with your grace and love, with your redemption and your forgiveness. Lord, lift us up that we might shine your light into the world, that others who have not heard of your love may hear it through our words, our actions, through the lives that we lead. May we not be confusing to those who see us, 
May they be drawn closer to you because they see you in who we are and what we do, in how we act and what we say, whether that's online or at work, whether that's with family or even in private, Lord. May everything we do and say reflect your love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope this has been a blessing to your day. I hope that you can take this word with you through the rest of today and maybe tomorrow and the rest of this week. May it continue to shine a light on your path and guide you where God would lead you. If you have been blessed today, we would ask that you like this video and share it on social media or through email with others that they, their day might be blessed as well. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe.